Welcome, explorers of the dark. We stand on the edge of understanding. Where sunlight never reaches. Where pressure can crush metal to dust. And where life, in its most bizarre forms, tenaciously persists. This is the deep ocean. In our journey, tracing the faintest biological traces. We have collected data, faint images, and whispers from deep diving machines. And today, we will unveil the velvet curtain of the abyss. Listing the top 10 most bizarre creatures ever to exist in the deep sea. Prepare yourselves, because what is about to be revealed may change your perception of life itself. At number 10, we have a mobile phantom, a perfect predator of the dark waters, just the dragonfish. Don't let its small size fool you. They lurk at depths of 200 to 1500 meters, where light is a distant memory. The scaly dragonfish bears the appearance of a prehistoric nightmare long, sharp teeth projecting out of its mouth. But its most fearsome weapon is a bioluminescent barb called an elysium, dangling below its chin. It flashes a red light, a color most deep sea creatures cannot see. It's like a will-o'-the-wisp in eternal darkness, beckoning prey closer before swallowing them whole with its enormous jaws. Further down, towards the boundary of total darkness, we find a living relic of the Jurassic era, the ghost shark, also known as Chimaera. They are not true sharks, but distant relatives, having diverged hundreds of millions of years ago. With large, round eyes like silver discs, unreflective to light, and a long, delicate tail like a... They hunt by using sensitive electroreceptive organs on their snouts, sensing the faint heartbeats of crustaceans and mollusks beneath the seabed. They are silent phantoms witnesses of the deepest time. Chimera, pure creatures of antiquity. They swim in the memory of the ocean. By now, you are probably familiar with the horrifying image of the anglerfish in your imagination. But the truth is far more terrifying. In the bone-chilling cold of the Bathyal Zone, where the pressure is hundreds of atmospheres, the anglerfish is an icon of bizarre reproductive yearning. Opens. The female, grotesque, with jagged teeth, carries a bioluminescent lantern. But what make them enter this list? The male, tiny and useless, when finding a female, will bite tightly into the body of his mate. Gradually, their bodies merge. Blood vessels intertwine. The male degenerates into a parasitic sperm sac, living and dying only to serve the reproduction of the female. Angler fished. At number seven, we have a creature with a seemingly dramatic name, 
the vampire squid of hell. Don't expect ferocity. Despite its scary name, this creature is a master of passive defense. When threatened, it doesn't squirt black ink. Instead, it curls its body backward, revealing soft, pointed... They live in the oxygen minimum zone, where oxygen concentration is so low that most other creatures struggle. Emperor Squid has adapted perfectly, moving slowly, almost without consuming energy, waiting only for organic debris to drift down. Vampire Squid, the creature in the black cloak of hell, not to hunt, but to await the death of others. It's time to face a predator with a terrifyingly outdated appearance, the Goblin Shark. This creature is like a living fossil, covered with a layer of pale pink skin, delicate due to lack of pigment. But what truly makes it legendary is its long, flat snout, like a sword, and its teeth. When it detects prey, the entire jaw of the Goblin Shark will launch forward out of its body at incredible speed like a triggered spring trap. A lightning fast snap of the mouth and the prey vanishes. It is primeval horror, an image from the early days of life on Earth. Goblin shark, the mole trap, evidence that evolution is sometimes simply refining an already perfect design. We leave the pure darkness to enter the hydrothermal vents beneath the deep sea, oases of life that don't need the sun. And here is the king of them, the giant tube worm. These creatures can be up to two meters tall, standing upright in streams of hot water erupting at temperatures over 350 degrees Celsius. They have no mouth, no digestive system. How do they live? They live symbiotically with bacteria living inside their bodies. Bacteria performs chemosynthesis, converting toxic sulfur compounds from the vents into energy. The brilliant red color at their head is hemoglobin, necessary for transporting the toxin, sulfur, to their bacterial partners. Giant tube worm tapped. Life built on a foundation of toxicity. Biological spires rising from the inferno beneath the sea. Sometimes, fear doesn't come from fangs, but from surreal beauty. Behold the deep sea firework. It is unlike any other jellyfish. Its body is almost transparent, shaped like an empth bag or a giant veil. It doesn't have long tentacles. Instead, folds inside its body act as a giant net, gently catching anything that drifts in. When the lights of the submersible shine on it, this empty bag seems to glow from within with intricate patterns, moving like underwater fireworks. Deep sea fireworks jelly, a beautiful empty bag. The absence of structure creates perfection in capturing prey. We are entering the top three, and this creature defies every law of vision you've ever known. The barrel eye fish, or barrel eye fish. Its head is a transparent dome filled with protective fluid. Inside that dome are two large... How does it hunt? It hovers, eyes facing upwards to search for the faint dark silhouette of prey above. And when prey comes into view, its eyes rotate back piercing through the transparent dome to look straight ahead and lunge. This is the only creature known to be able to see through its own skull. Barrel eye fish was. The head is a window. The eyes see through itself. An adaptation beyond imagination. Standing at number two, we have a spectacular contrast. From terrifying nightmares, we transition to melting tenderness, the Dumbo Octopus. 
aimed for its large fins, protruding from either side of its head, looking exactly like the flapping ears of the famous cartoon elephant. They live at terrifying depths, often below 3,000 meters, gliding gently across cold, muddy plains. They don't swim fast. They don't squirt ink. They use these ear fins to propel themselves through the thick water. Dumbo octopus, the tiny soul of the abyss. Pure beauty exists where not a single ray of hope can exist. And now we come to the champion. The creature standing at number one is not a single individual. If you think about size, no species can compare. Although not precisely defined, recorded specimens have But it is not a single jellyfish. It is a chain of specialized individuals, called zooids, connected by- Each zooid takes on a role. Some are used for swimming, some for digestion, and others are entirely dedicated to reproduction. It is a mobile food chain, a neural network suspended in the darkness as long as a ghostly train. They move slowly, extending their long trap. It is the longest living creature known in the ocean, an anonymous monster, only truly existing in the blurry footage. The giant siphonophore, absolute connectivity, a body made up of thousands of individuals, 10 creatures. 10 incredible adaptations to pressure, darkness, and isolation. But remember this, we have only explored about 5% of the ocean floor. Down there, in the cold silence and immense pressure, countless other mysteries await. The bottom of the abyss is not the end of life. It is the beginning of impossible possibilities. And our exploration has just begun.